Alright guys, welcome to my uh, playoff predictions. This is a, an, a website that I use a lot, playoff, playoffpredictors.com. Uh, that will be a link in the description. Also a link in the description will be my preseason predictions. Um, and I'm not going to follow those. Uh, I usually sometimes bias. I'm like, preseason predictions. Besides one exception, I'm not going to lean on any of my preseason predictions. And if you want to see what those were, I'll kind of mention them throughout the video. But again, links is in the description below. Okay, so let's start off on the top left, like you usually do, with Los Angeles and um, Baltimore. Man, this is the second time they're facing off. There's a lot of questions about Baltimore and Lamar Jackson, whether this is sustainable. Sustainable has been a word you guys probably heard too much in the news and whatever, because I'm pretty sure you guys pay attention to that, because it's probably not the only source that you're watching, to be frankly honest, if it is. That's pretty cool, but realistically, no, it's not. And, um, yeah, so... Chargers face Baltimore again. I mentioned how Bal Lamar Jackson in previous videos reminds me a lot of Tim Tebow, how they, he won that one playoff game. Well, he ended up winning one playoff game at home against the Steelers. Um, so whoever wins this game, I'm rooting for all the way, just as a fan-wise, and another team you'll, you'll see, but I'm rooting for them. But realistically, Melvin Gordon's out. Um, Baltimore has a lot of momentum coming off that emotional game against the Browns, and I think at home... The fans will be there. Even though Los Angeles is a really, really good away team, I think Baltimore wins it. Um, I could forget that this is the game that I'm confused of the most. Anyway, so going on, I think Indianapolis is going to defeat Houston. Um, there's a lot of questions about Houston's offensive line, their secondary, which they have Tyron Matt, to, Matt I can never pronounce his name, the Honey Badger. They have uh, Javon Clowney, and they have J.J. Watt. Their defense should be no question. But they've also lost to so many decent teams like Eagles. Um, they, they lost to the Colts. They've also, they lost to the Giants too, but that was earlier in the season before they gained momentum. And they also lost to somebody else recently. Um, well, lost to the Eagles. I forgot who, but they haven't beaten the playoff teams. They've beaten all these like under 500 teams. And I, I just trust Andrew Luck a little bit more right now, honestly. Um, so moving on to the uh, other... NFC. I think Dallas is going to defeat Seattle. I think Seattle right now is Seattle light from 2014. I don't think that they have that special run in them. And Dallas, Dak Prescott's, uh, everyone's playing for contracts. You think about Dak Prescott's playing for a contract. He needs he needs the money. Get, uh, even though Jason Garrett probably won't lose his job, questions will circulate if, hey, we had this amazing season, one seven out of the last eight, then we lose to Seattle. Like, really? They lose to them twice in the same season, especially at home. Um, Dallas needs to win this game, and I think they'll pull it off, as well as Chicago. I had Philadelphia going to the um, NFC Championship, but I think Foles' is, um, luck runs out. Um, what do you call it? He is injured, so the Chicago defense is going to make mincemeat out of him. It's going to be embarrassing, I think. This game, out of all of them, will be the game to get out of hand and... Um, I think Mitchell Risky won't play great, but he'll kind of di dip his foot in the water and his defense will kind of um, make up for his uh, shortcomings. And yeah, and then he'll gain more confidence in the future. Now let's go on to the AFC um, divisional round. Baltimore versus New England. Tebow, you know what happened to New England? He lost to New England. Um, Bill Belichick is really good against rookie quarterbacks, something about him. He just plans for him well, knows the inexperience and how to exploit uh um how to ex uh, how to exploit the um, newbiness for lack of a better word of a um a rookie quarterback and then yeah so i think the Patriots won that at home i don't think tom brady will lose that game at home indianapolis versus kansas city this is another tight game uh, i've been kind of going back and forth one time i pick indianapolis other time i pick kansas city Andy Reid sucks in the playoffs, and I, I even though I picked Kansas City, I, I, I still have to go with them. I still have to go with them mainly because something has to give. Something has to break through. I think uh, Indianapolis, it was a great season. Um, they're they're going to be a dynasty in the future, but Kansas City, they have to win this game. Like, I'm talking Andy Reid might get fired. He, he could be coach of the year and fired, pretty much, because... They've shown signs of the old Chiefs recently. They've showed signs not beating the great teams, not beating in prime time games. Um, this is a showcase of young talent, even though Andrew Luck is about 30 now. But I think Kansas City will be able to pull this game off. And yeah, I, 
I just think that the defense in Kansas City is coming up to shape right away, and they'll make that stop. And Andrew Locke is a little gun-happy like Patrick Mahomes, and he'll throw that interception late in the game. Chicago versus L.A. Um, I mentioned how L.A. is full of stars, and I don't believe in Todd Gurley um, and that offensive line uh, establishing the run game. I think Chicago beats L.A. again. Like how L.A. needs to prove themselves. I think they won't prove themselves because um, it's L.A. Uh <laughs> It's LA. They they have so much promise, yet they fall short when it comes to uh, big games. They lost to the Saints this year. They lost to Chicago. The only real big game they won is against the Chiefs, and that's because they were home, and Kansas City we thought they were going to Mexico, and it was all confusing. It ended up being a great game, and end, only ended up like three points, you know, a three-point difference. Um, so, yeah, Chicago versus Dallas. I mean, Dallas versus New Orleans, another rematch. I think New Orleans wins this one. Uh, both games are flip-flopped home field advantage, but I think New Orleans. But I think New Orleans has um, a better chance to win at home. Drew Brees, kind of like the Tom Brady of the NFC, they'll pull forward. They know uh, they have a great coach. Dallas, I just, I just don't think that they'll be able to pull this game off. Uh, it was a great run this season, and I don't want to get into the details of every single game because that's annoying. I just. I think the battle in the trenches will be won by New Orleans, and that will make them win. Okay, now you have New Orleans versus Kansas. New Orleans, New England versus Kansas City. Um, Kansas City, I think, will go all the way. Is it, I, whoever wins the Kansas City Annapolis game, I have them going to the Super Bowl. I don't think New England, presently constructed, is a Super Bowl team. Um, so that's why I'm picking Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes is angry. He lost. He's he's being told you can't play in prime time. All these things, and I think he'll be angry. And yeah, he, I keep on saying and, but he will make the uh, Super Bowl. Gronkowski's getting old. Everyone's getting old. Nobody can catch the ball, and I think that wears out in um, New England as they go to Kansas City and lose. Uh, Chicago versus New Orleans. Uh, I think New Orleans is going to win that game. I are you eh. I, 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 but I'll pick Chicago. Uh, I know I said this would be the, the you know what I exactly think is going to happen, but I just cannot not pick Chicago based on that defense. New Orleans has struggled recently. People kind of gone under the radar, but they let up 33 points to a backup quarterback in a uh, backup to a backup quarterback in the Panthers at home. They, they can catch a run, but I don't think so. Chicago makes the Super Bowl. That defense leads them. Now you have the number one offense versus the number one defense, pretty much. So, 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 offense versus defense. Recently, offense has won championships. You know, you had the um, Patriots win, and then you had the Eagles win last year, and all those were based on offense. Those high-scoring games that sometimes come down to a defensive stop, other times, uh, like that one defensive stop, and that's not really defense wins championships, that's luck wins championships. And, um... Yeah, you had New England with the walk-off touchdown in overtime. I think Kansas City has a chance, but Chicago I have as my 2018-19 Super Bowl champions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, it's kind of biased. I mentioned that wouldn't be biased, but I said biased except for one team, okay? And that team is Chicago. Uh, they don't really have a lot of experience. They have an experienced head coach. It can all come crumbling down this weekend, but uh, and that will be embarrassing, but... You know what? There's a sleeper pick. I get to ride them. I get to ride the bandwagon because I was on the bandwagon before the bandwagon even started, okay? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. While they're down there, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next, probably tomorrow. It depends if I make a video, but definitely next Monday for another episode of BNA Sports Talk. Bye, guys.